Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, declaring as usual that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We give him the glory for all that he has done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. I tell you, I love the song that says, if he doesn't do anything else, Hmm. He's already done more than enough. That's real talk right there, my friends. Well, I want to welcome you to the show today. Uh, We have got an amazing show, as we always do. The Lord just sends us great men and women, entrepreneurs, uh, pastors, apostles, teachers, organizations to be a part of the CBC radio show. I want to tell you, friends, if you have not gotten your ticket to the upcoming Christian Business Connection evening of Synergy networking event, what are you waiting for? It is going to be Friday, March 11th at the Urban League Metropolitan St. Louis right there on 3701 Grandel Square. Starting at 6 p.m., this is going to be an amazing networking event, great networking platform, food and beverages. And let me tell you, we even have booths available if you would like to be a vendor. Now, it's only $10 in advance if you get your tickets in advance. $10, only $10. At the door, the tickets are $20. I tell you, either way that you decide to come, it is well worth an investment in your life. I didn't say just your business, your ministry, or or your organization, but in your life. I am so grateful to God that whenever we have these events, he comes on in, he takes over, and it's always a blessing. So you can go to my website of the CBC radio show dot com to get your tickets. And you can also give us a call at three one four two seven zero two 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 five. You see the I guess subtitle for the CBC evening of synergy is when we all come together. On one accord, expect greatness. Don't miss it. Friday, March 11th, 6 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Well, friends, let me tell you about my guests on the program today. We have none other than Apostle Kenneth and Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship and Apostle Robbie C. Peters of Empowerment Word and Truth Church. To God be the glory. It's a wonderful interview. You have got to stay tuned to hear what God is doing in the body of Christ. And then also we have on the program this morning, Pastor Timothy Borders of the Last Awakening International Christian Outreach Worship Center. They have an event that's coming up on March 26. It's going to be a blessing. He's going to tell you about it. Can't wait for you to hear all of that great information. And then also this morning, we have none other than the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Reg. You got to hear him. Oh, he's going to make you laugh. You may need a laugh today. All right. The joy of the Lord is our strength. All right. So he's going to bring us some joy to strengthen us this morning. All right. And then we're going to be talking with Apostle Keita Lattimore, my friend of New Life Christian Fellowship. Let me tell you, there's an amazing event coming up. The Fresh Wind of glory yes 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 the fresh wind of glory women's retreat and movement she's going to be here talking about that great event on april 7th and 8th oh the lord is going to do some wonderful things friends there's so much happening in the body of christ in this hour and i want to be a part of anything and everything that the lord is doing so look friends we're going to take a short break right here hey you may even have time to go to my website of the cbc radio show.com so you can get your tickets to the cbc evening of synergy networking event stay with me i'll be right back
Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Greetings, St. Louis. This is Jamie Dennis, director of the Save Our Sons program from the Urban League of Metropolitan in St. Louis. If you want to be a blessing to your father, your brother, or son, or any male that you just care about, please send them our way. You can reach me at 314-388-9840. We're preparing generations for the workforce and jobs, employment, soft skills, financial literacy, leadership development, and career training. For more information, you can look up our program on www.ulstl.com. Good morning. This is Apostle Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship, a proud member of the Christian Business Connection. World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship is located at 5750 Bartmer. For more information, please contact us at 314-723-4855 or 314-723-4955. Once again, this is Apostle Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship, a proud member of the Christian Business Connection. Are you a member yet? Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and I'm so excited about the guests I have in the studio with me today. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Apostle Kenneth and Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship and Apostle Robbie C. Peters of Empowerment Word and Truth Church. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Evangelist. Now, you know, Apostle Kenneth and Apostle Tanya know the question I'm getting ready to ask. I'm not going to ask them this time. But Apostle Robbie, this is your first time, but I think you can get it. Yes, ma'am. And the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Absolutely. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. You get a gold star. Thank you, you get a gold star. You all right, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you, uh, the Lord has done just a wonderful thing uh, this past uh, weekend with an event that you had at your church. Apostle Kenneth, tell us about that. Uh, yes, we had the Like Father, Like Son conference. Uh, Apostle C. Uh, Robbie C. Peters, amen, uh, the man of the hour, brought the word, amen, men were glorified, God was glorified, men were uh, healed, delivered, and set free, amen. Amen. We that, uh, we, we're getting in a, a year of, the, of leadership where we, we're having to... Uh, Men having to step up and be leaders that God called us to be. Amen. Yes. And, uh, you know, this is uh, not the first uh, Like Father, Like Son conference. This is what number? The second. Amen. So you're still going strong. We're still going strong. So let me ask you, Pastor Tanya, will it be a third? Yes, there will be a third because truly the men of God need to hear the voice of a father. Amen. And so we are so grateful that our apostolic father has come all the way from Chicago, yes. Illinois, to speak to the sons and let the daughters eavesdrop. How about that? <laughs> Amen. That's all right. That's all right. So you did a little eavesdropping. Yeah, so we can get some nuggets on how to be better wives, better sisters, mm-hmm. better daughters, and so that we can push the men forward and let them have the position that God so rightfully gave them so they can go forth and be about the father's business and we can cheer them on as they continue to grow and continue to mature and be the men of thunder that God has ordained them to be in this hour. Hallelujah. The men of thunder. And you know, Apostle uh, Peters, this is what you do all throughout the country, isn't it? Absolutely, ma'am. I am an employee of the John Maxwell um, company. Um, I am as well the CEO of Kingdom Leadership Coaching, something that I do every day. Mm -hmm. Um, It's actually on Facebook. Um, Kingdom Leadership Coaching with Dr. Robbie C. Peters is free every day. Um, It's over a thousand people that I speak in the 
lives of every day to help them with leadership. Um, also with being a pastor covering 50 churches around the country. Um, I just believe that this is what God has perfected and called my life to, to be a beacon light, to help leaders, ground zero leaders, all the way up to entrepreneurs and CEOs, not just in the church, but also in the marketplace. And that's where we must work our middle and work the place where we need to be in this season and time. Yes, you know, uh, as you said, you were ordained. This is what God intended for you to do. And one thing that we have in common, I have an entrepreneur's heart. I love the entrepreneur. I love speaking into the lives of those who God has given a vision and just expanding that. Isn't that a blessing? It is a blessing because I've learned a long time ago that loneliness is not a positional issue. It's a personality issue. Mm. And if you are lonely at the top, that means you're not doing something right. And a lot of times we all always think that we're doing the correct thing, being lonely at the top. But I must tell you, there must be some company. And if you are connected to people, they should you should want to make sure that people are walking with you. The scripture says iron sharpens iron. So I will be of no use to you if I'm not sharpening you, challenging you in the areas where you need to be perfected. I agree with that. And uh, Apostle Kenneth, you know, part of that uh, sharpening, that iron sharpening iron, sometimes that includes correction, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. But if you can't take re- uh, correction, how can you grow? Amen. Amen. If you can't grow, you can't go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, it, now, if you hear me preach that that title in a sermon, you're gonna don't give me. I'm gonna let you know ahead of time. I might preach that. <laughs> you know, Apostle Amen. Tanya, um, because you know your uh, you and your husband's ministry, uh, you have a heart for the people. You have a heart for the community. And I know the Like Father, Like Son conference is just one of many things that you all have planned this year in your ministry. Am I right about it? Yes, ma'am. We have great things that are coming forth this summer uh, to impact not only the community, but the youth. Amen. Because those are the ones that are the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are the ones that are lost in this season that we really need to reach out to because uh, there's so much chaos going on in in regards to our youth that need to be corrected. Mm -hmm. And so we've lost the values in the youth and the morals and and the beliefs uh, in regards to faith in God. So we need to, as the kingdom of God, restore our young people. But we're going to have to ask God for a strategy Mm -hmm. because they've seen so much in the body of Christ and seen so much in the streets. And so God has to give us a strategy on how to win the youth back to him because Mm -hmm. they are the future. And so we need to develop something that's going to let them know that God is real and God has power to heal and deliver and restore them. There are many doctors and lawyers and teachers and preachers out there there, but they need to know their value. They need to know their identity. And so we need to rebuild families so that we can rebuild the youth that need to be restored. Amen. Amen. And, you know, Apostle Peters, just on what Apostle Tanya just said, that's part of what you do. Building the leadership is for the youth, for men, for women. It's for, it's for the entire family. And that's what you do when you travel, right? Absolutely. Um, a golden rule, taking people to the top is what good leaders do. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you are around people that are not helping you get to that apex of where you need to be, you are around the wrong people. Mm. So I have a good old saying, you need to, when you look at people, you need to do it Delegate it or dump it. Mm. Um, So you need people that's either going to do it or Mm. people that uh, you're going to delegate to or you need to dump the people. It's called the three D's. Do it, delegate it or dump it. Look, uh, audience, y'all can't see, but I just wrote the three D's, okay? (laughs) I I knew it. That's good. Say it again. Do it, delegate it or dump it. Wow. And you know what, Apostle? Sometimes people have to get to the place of being assertive in that manner because folks don't want to hurt other folks' feelings and they don't want to even though they're uh, uh, being broken down. Am I right? So help us on that part. I think um, a, a word that I will use right now is credibility. A leader's credibility begins with personal success. Mm -hmm. It ends with helping others achieve personal success. Mm. So I would be of no gift to you if I am not attributing what my success was for you to go further 
than me. It's mm-hmm. like parents. We should want to see our children go further than us. I don't think that I went to get a PhD for my child to work in a local gas station. Right. I should challenge my child to want to go further and beyond what it is that I'm doing. Because what I'm doing today, I am not just building people just to be doing something. I'm building legacy. That's what I'm doing in this season and time of my life. I've been preaching 29 years. I've been pastoring 16 years. I am now building legacy. Yes. And the stewards are our prime example. They yes. are the epitome of, um, of our jurisdictional area here in St. Louis. And I'm building legacy. I want them to step on my shoulders and launch into the deep. The sky is not the limit. It is the beginning of the unlimitless. Mm. Yeah. See, see, you you got me speechless up in here because <laughs> l- let me let me say uh, what you're saying. Not only the Bible says that death and life is in the power of the tongue, and what you are speaking, they're not just words. You are speaking life into the people who you minister to, the church, the yes, folks ma'am. around the country. And Apostle Kenneth, uh, what you're seeing him do, and you're building that legacy as well. You're you're making that happen in your church as well, aren't amen, you? Amen. Amen. It's, it's crucial. He's a, he's a the epitome of, of of a father. Yes. Yes. And he pours into me, and then and then that turn I pour into the men in my church, and then that's where legacy begins. To pass it on down. To pass it on down. Leg uh, uh, to the young men, mm-hmm. and then pass it on down. And so he's been just uh, fabulous in that that realm. Uh, leadership is is what we're going. We build leaders at World Overcomers Christian Center, not just. Uh, laity members, but leaders. Mm-hmm. That's and, right. Yeah, and and we all, to some capacity, are leaders. Mm-hmm. In some capacity, we are leaders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, uh, with with that, we we've been uh, this uh, weekend thing. Uh, we've been uh, pouring into these men. Yes, and uh, pushing them out there, telling them do what God called you to do. You know, it's something about, uh, it's just something to see when the Lord just reveals to a man. And I'm not just saying, you know, uh, women, you know, the same thing for us. But it's something about when a man, a man of God, realizes his true value in the kingdom and how the Lord can use him, not only in his family, but also for the building of God's people. Am I right about it, Pastor That's Tanya? That's right. We need the voice of a man to yes. speak to the hearts of daughters and sons yes. and children. We cannot take that out it is vital just as a woman who gives birth to a child we need the voice of a father and the man to be spoken into the hearts of the people because their voices do something that causes order and cause a shift to happen indeed indeed you know uh apostle peters uh as you're speaking into the lives of the young men and 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 men across this country, what has the Lord spoken to you? I, I believe that the the Lord gives you revelation. What has the Lord spoken to you uh, as a general message that you would say to men, to young men in this hour? Uh, the scripture says, train up a child in the way it should go when it's old, it will not depart from it. Um, I think today's men, they are seeing models of what God did not intend just for it to be. Number one, before he ever created ministry, he created family first. Okay, let's take it beyond that. You have to understand when we grew up in school, who you want to be like when you grew up. There mm-hmm. was our parents mm-hmm. that were role models. Mm-hmm. But today's society, there is 69 percent of single family parent homes. OK, uh, where the father may have been absentee or whatever the case may be. My message is It's very difficult in being a man in today's society. That's number one with um, police brutality, gang or gang, black crime, whatever violence, whatever it is. Um, I don't believe that black lives matter. All lives ought to matter because I believe if you march for one person, you should march for anybody that deals with something. Mm -hmm. A lot of our men today are acting out roles they never was scripted for. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I mean. If they didn't see a father in the home, how do you expect for him to know how to be a father? So he has to go beyond Webster's dictionary to define his masculinity and manhood. So he'll look 
at buying two hundred dollar gym shoes. He'll look at wearing um, jeans. Where where did you see six pair of his underwear showing? Mm-hmm. Because he mm-hmm. does not see a man where it's scripted. And if you go back to those days, young men that don't wear belts and their pants are sagging. That came from a prison mentality. Yes. And because our men does not understand that, they think that it's a fashion statement when theoretically it is an enslavement statement. Yes. So 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 we are we are functioning and dysfunction. <laughs> so what we end up doing is that we end up trying to be someone else when we didn't see it. Because if you were not in the game learning the plays in rehearsal, it's hard to play the game on the field. <laughs> and that's the <laughs> issue that we as men deal with. So I try to show them it's all right to be a man. You can be a man if you wear a tailor-made suit just like you can wear academics and Tim's. That does not define your masculinity. Right. What defines your masculinity and your manhood is the fact that you stand up, take care of your family, be a beacon light and be the backbone to your community. And if you have men that don't stand in a place to do that, I'm sorry to misinform them. They're not men, they're punks. Mm. They, 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 they are not ready to go to the next dimension of what God called them to be. Because if we're building a legacy, our children must see something in front of them to want a model. That's right. They have to see someone standing on the front line, protecting their family, doing what needs to be done. And I'm, and I'm sorry to misinform them. We are functioning dysfunctional addicts mm. because we are learning that if we grew up in the projects, they thought that they were building a maze, but we're coming out being amazing. Mm. So we must understand that we have to learn how to be what God called us to be. Amen. Amen. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle Kenneth and Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship and Apostle Robbie C. Peters of Empowerment Word and Truth Church. Church. Now, I know my listeners want to know how they can get in contact with both of these ministries. Uh, Apostle Peters, uh, I, we're just grateful that the Lord uh, put you in the mist here to have this it's conference this past weekend. But I believe there are some churches who are listening who would love to have you come back and speak at their church. Give us your contact information. Well, the Empowerment Word and True Church, the most powerful place on the planet. We are one church in two states. Uh, we have our main church in Chicago, Illinois, 1133 East 82nd Street, Chicago, Illinois, in the Avalon community. Um, if they want any information, they can go to www.apostlercp.org or www.ewtconline.org. Here in St. Louis, we have what you call a parachurch. Um, it's a church for leadership. It's a church for the five-fold ministry. Uh, we have service once a month. Um, right now, it's at 7611 South Broadway. Um, and on Saturday mornings, they, we do that once a month on Friday nights. And then on Saturday morning, um, I have an impartation and teaching from about 10 to 2. Uh, we were blessed this particular weekend because um, I just don't want to just go in people's churches and preach. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of that. Mm-hmm. That's that's played out. That's whack. That's just religion of formality. Mm-hmm. Um, but we were so blessed to actually um, go inside on Saturday and do a wonderful intensified leadership clinic. Um, I think we did it from 930 to about two. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm the one just working. I let them eat. I let them take <laughs> notes. I let them relax. Yeah. I come to serve. Mm-hmm. That's what Jesus said. I didn't come to be served, but to serve. Amen. Um, so we do that at 5750 South Bartmere, uh, right there at World Overcomers. Awesome. Awesome. I'm I, I'm just looking at you and my mouth is, is half open. I'm, it's just awesome to work and how God is using you. Uh, Apostle Kenneth, give us your contact information for the ministry as well. Well, we're located at 5750 Bartmer Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri, in the Central West End, 63112. And our contact number is 314-723-4855 or 723-4955. Amen. And uh, we're we're so proud and so so excited about what God is doing mm-hmm. through our fellowship mm-hmm. and uh, building and 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 instructing and teaching leaders to go out and be leaders in the in the community in your job on your job wherever you go mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to lead like God did. Amen. And and he's doing by example, by example. By example. Yes. Amen. Apostle Tanya, we're just about out of time, but I just believe you got something to say. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's just an awesome experience to see men of God having a desire to please him in this hour. And so I'm excited for Apostle Kenneth Stewart, my husband, mm-hmm. to see the growth in his life mm-hmm. and how God is pioneering him to lead other leaders. It's a great uh 
opportunity to also fellowship with my apostolic father and gain some nuggets by sitting at his feet. And so it's an awesome experience for all those who came to feast at the table. And so we're just excited about the manifestation of his glory that's getting ready to hit this earth like never before. It is time for the leaders to take their position so that God can be glorified like never before. It's time for soul winning. It's time to see people healed, delivered, and set free. And people are hungry for a move of God and not just religion, as my apostolic father said and as my husband has decreed. And so we want to be about the Father's business. Mm -hmm. Let the houses of God be a house of prayer where people can come and experience the manifestation of God's presence. And so that's what's getting ready to hit the earth, that the presence of the Lord is getting ready to explode in churches that will allow the Holy Spirit to come in and reign. It's time to move forward in the body of Christ. It's time to be the church and not just have a church. Hello, somebody. Mm. It's time to move forward in the army of the Lord. There are souls at stake. There are souls that are in between that need to hear a word from the Lord. So let's mm. rise up, body of Christ, and be about our Father's business mm. so the world can see that God is real and he's true to his word. Amen. Hallelujah. That's Amen. a good word right there. That's a good Amen. word. I tell you, I just appreciate and thank everyone, all of you, for being on the program today. Uh, Apostle Kenneth, is there anything else that you wanted to say quickly? Oh, no. This, this that God is wonderful. We serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. We serve an awesome God, and there's nothing off limits for him. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. nothing. You know, I, I would like to end with this part on what you said. If we go back to it real quick, Apostle Peters, what did you say about uh, there's no ceiling? There's no what did you say? There's no limit. I said the sky is not the limit. It is the beginning of the limitless. I think we can end right on there. I think that's a good place to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I appreciate you all for being on the show again. Apostle Kenneth and Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship and Apostle Robbie C. Peters of Empowerment Word and Truth Center. Thank you all for being a part of the CBC radio show today. I thank you so very much for having thank us. Thank you for Pleasure. having us. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. And when we come back, we're going to be talking with Pastor Timothy Bordis of the Last Awakening International Christian Outreach Worship Center. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. I'm your host, evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were going to have on the program this morning, Pastor Timothy Borders of the Last Awakening International Christian Outreach Worship Center. I'm so excited about their upcoming Love Fellowship Banquet. And Pastor Borders is going to give us all the great information about that and what the Lord is doing at Last Awakening Church. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Pastor Timothy Borders, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I am well, sir. And I'm and I'm going to ask you a question that I always ask everybody who comes on the show. I didn't script you on it or anything. And That's the right. question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get an A, Pastor. That's all right. <laughs> you knew the answer. That's all right. <laughs> well, I tell you, uh, you know, we're just so excited about what God has put on your heart and that of Apostle Louise Roan for the upcoming Love Fellowship Banquet. Tell us yes. about that. Yes, the Love Fellowship Banquet is uh, an opportunity for us to really show God's people how much God really loves us. Uh, and not to show gospel, but to show everybody, because, you know, uh, we don't really see it too much. We read about it. People talk about, you know, we should love every person. But really and truly, we never really do it. But God put it on our heart several years ago to host uh, 
just to like just to show people how much God really loves them. And so we created the Love Fellowship Banquet, and that will be held on Saturday, March 26th, starting at 6 p.m., and will be held at 9930 Halls Ferry Road. You know, Pastor, this is one of many things that the Lord has uh, uh, placed on your heart and Apostle Louise Roan uh, to do for the body of Christ. You know, bring us up to speed on what is going on, what God has directed you all to do in this hour. God has really directed us, to, I mean, to really go out and be an outreach, to be a beacon of light for Him. Um, and to stop putting it all on us and really just uh, go witness and go show people how much God really loves them. Um, I know that's what we're doing, um, and God has even spoke to us and said, you know, in three months, he's going to pack out every place that we go to, um, that, to where there will be no more seats or any other thing, because we're going to be demonstrating the love that, he, that we read about in his word, and that's going to be the draw to get the people back to where they should be. I, I, I like that, a demonstration of God's mm-hmm. love. That's what we need across this world, don't we? That's right. Apostle Borders, uh, the Lord has done so many great things in the ministry of Last Awakenings. And I know, as we said, in this hour, there's a demonstration of love that's needed across the world. Is, is there a particular thing that's on your heart this morning uh, that you want to tell our audi- our listening audience? Yes, I believe it's um, that God wants us to go back to really loving Him and loving each other. Um, the Bible tells us that we should love one another as God has loved the church. And that's something that we've lost um, through many of years, through all the things that's happened. We've kind of seen it happen. Uh, we see it come and go. But I believe God wants us to come back and really live this way out. Because if we live the way that He commanded us to live, we'll live in the blessings that He already ordained for us to be living in. And so if we want to go back and walk in the blessings, we got to live the way he called us to live, and that's to walk in true love. Amen. And if I was going to add a word uh, to that, a companion word, I would also say compassion. You know, it seems like you know we get desensitized to all the things that happen on the news. You know, so much of the crime, of the killings, and the you know, and the macabre that we just, you know, we just feel we just used to it. But we got to get uh, back a, 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 a spirit of compassion to to truly have compassion for our fellow man. Don't you agree? I agree with my whole heart. With and, every word that every word you just said, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe that people, uh, what you're demonstrating uh, through the ministry, through the church, the love and compassion. I'm telling you, God's word is is, is spreading like wildfire. I, I, am I right about that? You tell the truth. He speaks the truth. <laughs> uh, now, are there any surprises that you're going to have at the Love Fellowship Banquet? I mean, kind of tell us an idea. And how can people uh, attend? Give us that information as well. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, to attend the banquet, the tickets are $20. And if you can call us at 314-363-5975 and let us know who you'll be coming and who will be coming with you. And we'll have your seats already saved for you. We can mail you your ticket. And you can either um, send us your check or cash to 98 98- 35 NOTE, that is N O L T E, St. Louis, Missouri, 63136. Uh, and then also, for the surprises, I can't really tell you too many right, surprises right, 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 because right. if I tell it to you, then everybody gonna want to be there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I know the the Lord. You know, one thing I always say: if you come expecting a blessing, He's gonna do exceedingly and abundantly more than what you can ask or think. I, I think that's okay to say, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Uh, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Pastor Timothy Borders, who is the pastor of the Last Awakening International Christian. Outreach Worship Center. Pastor Borders, give us that phone number and um, the information one more time for folks to get tickets. All right. To get your tickets, you can give us a phone call at 314-363-5975. Or you can mail us at 9835 NOLTE, which is N-O-L. T.E., St. Louis, Missouri, 63136. Wonderful. And uh, we're about out of time, Pastor. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to our audience this morning? My words to you, just like we've been talking about, we need to learn to love one another. And that means going beyond what we decide, what we feel love is. Um, Love is more than just going out there, I did it because I loved them. But when you really love somebody, it doesn't matter what position they're in. You're going to do whatever God calls and ordains for you to do. And we need to start living that way. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Timothy Borders, for being a part of the CBC Radio Show. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. Thank you. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President. President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were adding something really special to the CBC Radio Show. And I just want to get right to it because we have got the man himself, the Bishop of Comedy, on our program today. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Ridge. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Nona. How you doing? Well, you know, this is the day that the Lord has made. Are you rejoicing with me in it? Yeah, I'm kicking them glory clouds. <laughs> Look, right there. Uh, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm so excited because, you know, Christians need to laugh, too. Don't we need to laugh in the midst of all that's going on? We need to laugh, don't we? Amen. Amen. And that's why I titled my tour, Saints Can Laugh, Too, because that's a catch and people need to laugh. They just, Christians need to laugh. That's all I'm worried about right now. <laughs> we sometimes, whoo, I call them the lemon saints. Oh, my God. I just, I'm, I'm tired of it. So, you know, God instilled me with a gift to make the saints laugh. So that's why I title it Saints Can Laugh Too. I love it. And, you know, you've been doing this. And like you said, God has entitled you. He's gifted you. And that's really what it is. You've been doing this for how many years, sir? Well, I, I've been doing comedy for, uh, ever since uh, 92. Well, actually, I've been doing comedy all my life. When I came out the womb, you know, my mama didn't want me. So that was a whole other story there. <laughs> I was too light-skinned. <laughs> but, <laughs> nevertheless, nevertheless, but I've been doing, but professionally, uh, I've been doing comedy since 92, but uh, I turned the new leaf and turned it over to the Lord. And, and so the last 10 years, I've been doing comedy as a ministry all over the country and all over the country yes indeed <laughs> yes and that that's really a blessing in itself all over the country making folks laugh that's all right that's it that's it especially when you when you do something that you love to do and then get paid for it omg you know they <laughs> said your gift will make room for you as a matter of fact i'm getting ready to to go i'm on a 15-day tour this month alone Wow. Wow. You know, only God can do those things. Only God can open the doors that, you know, need to be open and close the doors that need to be closed, too. Am I yes, right about indeed. that? Yeah, some doors was closed. I was trying to open it back up, trying <laughs> to open it back up. But God said, get your head off that knob. <laughs> yes, me. That's Trust it. In me. And, and I let it go. Yeah. I let it go. Yeah. And man. Yeah. But I'm excited, you know, just being on the program. I just thank you for believing in me and just giving me an opportunity to say hello to the world. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And that's what you're going to do because we're going to start a series with you. It's, you know, we're calling it the, the Christian Comedy Nuggets. So you're going to bless so. us a little later on in the program with just something that's going to make us smile, that's going to make us bend over and laugh, that's going to mean something something to us. It's going to make us feel better. Am I right about it? Glory! <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> you know, I love the Lord. I love him because he heard my cry. Huh. Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> now, that's real talk right there. We can laugh, but that's real talk right yeah, there. That's real talk, and that's what my comedy is. It's real talk. You yeah. know, it's things that people laugh at, but can't tell it, but I can't. 
Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. And I know you're available. I mean, you know, although you're in a tour right now and, you know, you've got so much going on, but you are yeah. available for uh, different affairs and events here yeah. in the metropolitan area, right? Yes, yes. I mean, I, I have fillers, and these will be fillers because, yeah, you know, like I say, God is is really blessing me. This year has just, I mean, it's just went to a whole nother level. But I am available. Uh, and when, when I am available, I come to your church. I come to you. You know, uh, I've worked funerals, divorces, all of that. Whatever <laughs> you need, call me. I will be sure we're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring some laughter. We're gonna have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the Lord. In we're the have Lord. A great time. Yes, indeed. And so I could be reached. Uh, of course, you know I, I'm on Facebook under Saints can laugh too and that's t-o-o saints can laugh too or you can reach me at 314-398-4587 give it give that to us one more time would you okay 314-398-4587 now you promised that you're going to come back a little later in the program and and give us one of those uh comedy nuggets Oh, look, come on now. Not only do I... Yeah, I promise. I promise. Yeah, I <laughs> well, wonderful, wonderful. I just want to thank you for being a part of the CBC radio show and, you know, and really including us in your ministry. As you said, this is a ministry mm-hmm. and we want to be a blessing to the people of God. Amen. Amen. And I'm just I'm just like I said, I'm honored that you would even call little old me. You know what I mean? I'm, you know, people be like, you famous. No, I ain't. I'm just a child of God, humble, and I love to do what I do, and that's to make people laugh. I've been through too much. <laughs> Amen. You, you, you know what I call us? Uh, I, I do. I call us decorated dust. That's all we are. Ooh. Decorated dust who That's are it. servants of the Lord. It's just that simple. That's it. I am. I'm going to use that. Decorated dust. Decorated dust. Write it down. Some people need to realize that, that they decorated dust and nothing else. That's it. That's, that's another topic on CDC. We'll talk about that later. We'll do it later. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to thank you again. The Bishop of Comedy. Reggie Reg, and we're going to hear you a little later on in the program. Thank yes, you. Indeedy. All right, God bless. All righty. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Greetings, St. Louis. This is Jim. Amy Dennis, director of the Save Our Sons program from the Urban League of Metropolitan in St. Louis. If you want to be a blessing to your father, your brother, or son, or any male that you just care about, please send them our way. You can reach me at 314-388-9840. We're preparing generations for the workforce and jobs, employment, soft skills, financial literacy, leadership development, and career training. For more information, you can look up our program on www.ulstl.com. Don't miss the next Christian business. Business Connection networking event at an evening of synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that a fresh wind was blowing, blowing, blowing. And I'm excited about it because of the upcoming Fresh Wind of Glory Women's Retreat and Movement coming up in April 7th through the 8th. And I tell you, I'm so excited about it. And I have on the program with me this morning the woman of God, the apostle, Keita Lattimore of New Life Christian Fellowship Church. And the Lord has blessed this woman of God to put it on her heart. And she is hosting this event. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Apostle Keita Lattimore. Good morning, Apostle. 
Good morning, evangelists. Good morning, all you radio listeners. God bless you this morning. Amen. Well, you know what you know what I got to ask you. You know the drill by now, <laughs> surely. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day that the Lord has made for me, and I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose to rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Amen. It is a choice. Amen. Amen. And you know what? That That's the key word. You got to choose life. You got to choose to rejoice because if we look at things around us, Apostle, it, you know, it, 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 it can be kind of ugly, but we know God's word is true, don't we? We know that his word is true, and he is a man that he cannot lack. That's Neither it. is he the son of man, and he can repent, then he should repent. But every word that comes out of his mouth is true, amen? And we can be sure of it. And he watches over his word to perform it, and it would not return to him void. We bless his name. Yes, that was a good word for me this morning. That was all right right there. You know, uh, and God is going to truly perform his word over this upcoming women's retreat and movement. Tell us about the fresh wind of glory would you well the lord gave me this and i want to make it really short um the lord gave me this and he told me to put this together because what he's gonna do hallelujah is he's going to thrust women hallelujah into a place where we've never been in before he's going to deliver some women he's going to pull women out of corners hallelujah he's going to pull women that's been set down pushed back pushed to the side told they wasn't anointed told they couldn't do anything hallelujah and god is going to meet them right there so we are excited and when you say fresh and then you put the wind with it <laughs> hallelujah that blows all that oh that the old and the dead and the ugly away. Hallelujah. All the things from our past, the things that just keep, keep trying to oppress us and depress us. Hallelujah. And then the glory comes. Hallelujah. <laughs> then the glory comes with it. Hallelujah. And then the Lord crowns us with his glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when he crowns us with his glory, hallelujah, we are made new. Hallelujah. We are made new. We are, we are renewed. We redeemed. Hallelujah. And then He's going to establish us. He's going to establish us. He's going to plant us. And then he's going to shoot us into our destiny in Jesus' name. He said he's going to release some generals into the kingdom of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's good news right there. <laughs> and, you know, what What, it, what also excites me about um, this, uh, and as you said, uh, movement, is that yes. I, I really know it to be so. There is really a fresh wind that is blowing through the entire kingdom of God, through the body yes. of Christ. Some yes. things are being uh, flipped over. <laughs> some things yes. are being revealed. There's some new <laughs> things going on yes. in the body of Christ. But it's all good. It's, it's, yes, it's all it good. So yes. tell us about your speaker. I know your guest speaker for that event is phenomenal. She is phenomenal. She is Prophetess Michelle McLean Walters, and she is actually John Eckert's right hand uh, prophetess in the church. And she's right up under uh, Crusaders Church uh, with John Eckert. And uh, this is a mighty woman of God. I've been knowing her uh, for about 12 years now. Um, and of course, from the first time that I met her to now, God has really um, taken her to another place. She's written books. Uh, she's written uh, The Prophetic uh, Edge. And there, I have some on my website. Uh, I have some pictures also that I posted on Facebook. Uh, she's written a book, The Esther Anointing, and uh, the Lord has really taken her from a place and really given her the ability to really empower women. And so we are really looking forward to that. We are really looking forward to the gift of God that's coming to us. She agreed immediately as soon as she heard the, the title that the Lord had given. She was excited. <laughs> so she she's ready. Hallelujah. And I really want to encourage everyone. Uh, we'll give out uh, our ministry information. Evangelist Nona will do that. I really want to encourage everyone to get her book. She's going to be teaching us in the workshop from her books and also from her own life experiences as a woman and as God calling her as a prophetess uh, to the nations. And she travels not only in the United States, but in other countries as well. So we are just waiting, anticipating 
the blessing that God has uh, waiting for us. Yes, yes. And and not only are we going to be blessed uh, by her as the uh, as your featured speaker, you have several other people on uh, the program for those two days. Tell us about them. Well, I do. Two of the people are, they're from St. Louis, and then two of them are from out of town. And the Lord put these women in my spirit. And what the Lord told me to do, he said, I don't want, I don't want you uh, chasing names. Mm -hmm. I want to show you who I want involved in this meeting. And so he said, don't chase names, but I have anointed them to be involved in this. And the Lord, and these are powerful women of God. Uh, we have uh, Evangelist Sarah White. She is here from St. Louis. We have Minister Deborah Henderson Cook. She is here from St. Louis. She's our praise dancer. She's one of the praise dancers. Uh, we have Evangelist Bridget Dallas. She is coming from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And then we have uh, Prophetess Orr. Washington, and she is coming from Houston, Texas. So we are very, very, very excited about what the Lord is doing. These are powerful women of God. Keep watching them because God is getting ready to take them to a place that they don't even know, I don't think, as of yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And and, and as you were saying, uh, the locations and where folks are coming from, I'm thinking, Lord, you sending them from the north, south, east, and west, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's... And and that's because what the Lord is going to do on that weekend of April 7th and 8th, it really is going to be life changing. And I know we hear that so often. People will say things and they'll put these little catch phrases on things. But I believe, Apostle, when you come expecting something, God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or think. Am I right? You are correct. And the rest of that scripture says, according to the power that is working in you. Mm. So what kind of power and what kind of expectation do you have according to the power, the faith that's working in you? Hallelujah. So we want the women to believe God beyond your your any belief that you believe him for stretch of faith stretch of faith and believe god hallelujah and he's going to meet you right there amen i want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning we're talking with apostle keita Lattimore of new life christian fellowship center now apostle uh let's get right to how folks can contact you because i know it's limited seating on this event and we don't want anybody to be left out. So how can folks get in contact with you? I do know that we can go to your website of newlifecfministries.org to get all the information, but give us a phone number as well. Our telephone number to our ministry, it is 314-536-8188. Again, it's 314-536-8188. And, Apostle, this is a two-day affair, April 7th and 8th, and the hotel accommodations are just wonderful. We're going to be staying at the Holiday Inn Hotel in Fairview Heights, and I know that there's a block of rooms that you have available uh, for the guests. So folks need to hurry and move, don't they? They need to hurry and move because the hotel is going to, our deadline to reserve the rooms at a lower rate is March the 8th. So we, we need to hurry and reserve your rooms. You can call the hotel room and reserve your room. You don't have to pay until you actually get there, but you can reserve the room and get your room at a, at a lower rate. At, at this point, up until March the 8th is going to be the cutoff date for the reservation for the rooms. Amen, amen. So, you know, I, I praise God that uh, I'm going to be the mistress of ceremonies for that, but if I just come off the stage and sit down in a chair so I can soak it up, will that be all right, too? That's going to be all right. <laughs> There's going to be enough power in the room for you to do that. Hallelujah. Amen. We're expecting to have revelation, insight, deliverance, fun, sisterhood, all of that. All yes. right. We're just about out of time. Is there anything else you'd like to say in closing this morning, Apostle? 
I just want to encourage the women to believe God. And, and also, uh, the um, the registration is for, we're going to have on Friday, March the 8th, we're going to have, it's $60 for registration, and that's going to include, we're going to have breakfast, we're going to have a workshop with the prophetess, and then we're going to have dinner. So the Lord told me to do something different, just to kind of love on the women. You, we have to charge, because of course we can't take the full responsibility of paying for everyone to eat. So unfortunately, at this point in our ministry, one day we're going to be there, Amen. but right now, so um, that's $60, and the hotel is going to cater our food to us. They have great food, and so we're just looking for the fellowship with us women, and we're going to show the world that we can come together as women. We can love on each other. We can come together and love on each other. Hallelujah. We can come together and love on each other. All this is going on, but we can come together and love and support and encourage each other in the things of God. Amen? Amen. Well, I'm excited about it. Fresh Wind of Glory Women's Retreat and Movement April 7th and 8th. Apostle Keita Lattimore, thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show today. And thank you for having me. Thank you so very much, Evangelist Nona. Well, all right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning. This is Bishop of Comedy Reggie Reds on the CBC, and this is your Christian Comedy Nugget. Now, I know you're probably sleep and tired and everything, but today what we want to do today, what we want to do to say, today, saints, is stay awake all day in church. Come on, I know somebody out there going to be trying to nod off. You know, we call it the nodding ministry. Well, today, nodding ministry, this ain't today. You need to listen to what the Word of God say today because you're going to nod off and you're going to miss it. So today, the nodding ministry, we therefore rebuke the nodding ministry today and you stay awake. The Bishop of Comedy loves you. That's right, love you to life. God bless you. See you soon. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event at an evening of Synergy Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more information. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Friends, haven't we had a wonderful, wonderful program? I just give God the glory for what he does every week right here on the CBC Radio Show. Listen, if you would like to be interviewed on this program, talking about your business, your ministry, your upcoming event, your organization, give us a call at 314-270-2225. I want to thank my guests for being a part of the show today, Apostle Kenneth and Tanya Stewart of World Overcomers Christian Center Fellowship and Apostle Robbie C. Peters of Empowerment Word and Truth Church. And then thank you, Pastor Timothy Borders of the Last Awakening International Christian Outreach Worship Center. Glory to God for the work that you and Apostle Louise Roan are doing at that ministry. Glory to God. And then I tell you, I hope you got your laugh on with the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Reg. He's just wonderful. Thank you for being a part of the CBC radio show. And then my friend, Apostle Keita Lattimore of New Life Christian Fellowship. Let me tell you, friends, you hurry on and get your tickets to that upcoming Fresh Wind of Glory Women's Retreat and Movement. I'm going to be there. So many wonderful people are going to be there. And you, need to be there too. Go to my website of thecbcradioshow.com for all of the information of the guests who were on my program today. Also, friends, get your tickets, friends, for the upcoming CBC Evening of Synergy networking event. This is my first networking event of the year, and we're going to have it at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. You know right there at 3701 Grandale Square. Look, you can go to the website. The tickets are $10, only $10 in advance when you get them online, or $20 if the door 
if you'd like to wait. Either way, let me tell you, it's a great networking platform. Food, beverages, vendor booths are available. Space is limited, friends. Give me a call today, 314-270-2225. Well, as always in closing, you know what I like to say, because truly it is the truth, and I can't stop saying it and giving him the glory. So I say to you in closing, to God be the glory for all that he has done. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.